Hey guys, what's going on? The Poker Resort here, and let's get into our second battle with this team. It was pretty successful the first time, so let's see what we got for our second match. Hopefully it'll go well. Um, apparently when I try to make the team again, the whole thing just screwed up, and I had to redo everything, unfortunately. But hopefully everything's saved now, so I won't have to continue to remake the team. So, um, looking at this team, I'm going to assume that Ferrothorn will come in first. And because I'm going to assume that, I am going to bring in... Infernape or Volcarona will come in instead and I don't have too much on it um let's see what I can do um I'm just gonna do a fire punch and let's see where that goes it doesn't have flash fire thank god so that's something I don't really have to worry about but I don't know just Volcarona, that's one of the tricky Pokemon you have to deal with. Um, I would say the tricky Pokemon you always have to deal with would be Volcarona, um, Heatran, and... I'm not sure, those are like the two Pokemon I'm always questioning what I can do on it. It's always like those Pokemon that have those conflicting like um, types, or like a Fire and Bug type. Well, Fire is strong against Bug and Weak is terrible against Fire. So when you put them all in the same type, that's when it starts to drive me crazy. Especially when a Pokemon has Flash Fire, when they're weak to like a certain type of move, it definitely sucks. So I'm gonna turn this timer on, cause hey, I'll I'll give you time to battle, but I mean, come on, you're making one move, you shouldn't be taking that long. So hopefully we can get get this going, get the ball rolling on this game. And this look, this just looks like a pretty legit team. And okay, so we did decent there, quiver dance. All right, whatever. I'm gonna knock the thing out anyways. Switch out if you want. I don't really care. Um, actually, because you're gonna switch out. Should I switch into a different Pokemon? Because it, it clearly is not going to win this battle here. But you know what? We're going to... Okay, Bug Buzz resisted that. That's fine. So we knocked it out now. So that's good. So um, that's normally what happens with um, Life Orb. I don't like how my HP just slowly gets lower and lower and lower. Um, just kind of frustrating to deal with. Um, clearly, clearly um, there's going to be a um, Aqua Jet coming here. So we're going to switch into Fortress. Or play rough, uh, I guess either work, but I think this one kind of worked out a little bit better for us. We're going to use a gyro ball here. Don't know if it's going to switch out. Oh, and they forfeit. All right, well, if these teams are going to keep forfeiting, fine. But um, you know what? We only got in. We defeated one Pokemon. We'll, we'll do another one. We'll do another battle for you guys. I'm feeling kind of generous today, so let's see what we got here. All right, so it's about the same team. You always see same Pokemon every single team. That's why I like how, like, what we do with our team. Like, you see Pokemon that aren't always being used all the time. Like, yeah, I might have one or two on my team that you'll see a lot, but everything else is different. I feel like I'm just battling the same team over and over again. It's just kind of annoying. Like, come on, guys. Be... Be creative when you guys like make your teams instead of just having a standard Pokemon that you guys follow through through like Shofu or something. I don't know. It's just kind of frustrating to watch and I kind of, I can understand a little bit where people are coming from, why they do that because they don't really want to lose and that's perfectly fine with me if you don't want to lose, fine. Um, Alright, so what we could do here, um, this guy's just going to set up like crazy. I'm assuming he's just going to get the... Um, Leech Seed off right now, and because he's going to do that, I don't really want to deal with a Leech Seed, so because I don't want to deal with one, we can actually probably bring Blissey in here. You know what, we're going to bring in Blissey, we're going to paralyze it, and to paralyze it, then we can use our Seismic Toss, because fighting is super effective against Ther Ferrothorn, it's like, that's like one of the, like the only moves. Um, Yeah, Blissey is just a normal type Pokemon, so we should be fine here. Um, So let's use a Thunder Wave. Alright, cool, hopefully... Okay, so it's knocked off. Knocked off my leftovers, whatever. Alright, so now we can use a Seismic Toss. And it doesn't do any damage. And don't really want to deal with the... And, okay, so now, now this is a problem. Now this is a problem. Uh, we don't have... Okay, my entire team, I just realized, is physical. And... Yeah, because it's physical, it's not exactly the best thing to deal with because of this specific reason right here. <laughs> so, we lost like 38% of our health right there off of one attacking move. So that's why I don't enjoy the, uh, using Life Orb that much, but that's fine. Alright, so we got Crobat in here. Um, Let's see what I can put onto it. Um, I can start, I, I can actually put in Fortress now. Let's see where that leads. Acrobatics, that's not going to do too much to us, which is great. I know he has a Rapid Spinner on us, so you know what? If 
fine. Do what do, do what you want. Yep, X drills coming in. And because it's coming in, I can at least assume it's gonna do something. It's gonna try to get rid of the um stuff right away. So because it's gonna try to get rid of everything, I'm gonna bring in Infernape and use a oh. Yes, yeah, so now 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 that has become a problem with this team. <laughs> Um, but what we're gonna do here, let's just use, let's use a Dragon Dance, see where that leads us to. I'm a little disappointed with the, um, Infernape. Oh, so far my, my one Pokemon I picked on my team, well other than, uh, Pinsir, really hasn't paid off. Uh, I was just kind of hoping he would use a Rapid Spin, but we might be able to knock it out here and, alright, cool. Alright, so now that we have that, we are going to knock off whatever item it has. That's cool. Alright, so now that we did that, now we can use a waterfall on it because that moves clearly stronger. And because it's stronger, we should be able to take it out. Good. So we took out the Crobat. And the rest of I'm kind of surprised he used a taunt on us. So what we can do here is... Um... You know what, we should be able to knock it out in two hits, but it will probably like use Will-O-Wisp or something on us. So, fake out, okay, so it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna be that guy. And yep, this guy has leftovers on us. And our taunt ended, which really doesn't matter too much. Okay, so we got the knockoff. And hopefully, um, we're just gonna go first, I'm gonna Aqua Jet and hopefully, what? Ah, uh, damn, okay, um... Wow, I did not see that one coming. I, I really thought he just would have used a fake out again. And I guess that's where the problem comes along. But I guess now now is probably the best time we can do this where we're just going to use a quick attack. Um, yeah, just get out, get the Sableye out of here. And I would assume Charizard or Diggersby. This thing probably has Stone Edge and it's not going to be something I want to deal with right now. And so let's bring it. Now we can bring in Hippowdon. Alright, return. Wow, that does a lot of damage. Okay. Um, if we can even get anything off here. Let's get off a... S ah, alright. This is... This has now become a problem. So what we're going to do here, we're going to use a Stealth Rock. Okay, cool. So now because of the Stealth Rock, we should be able to do well. And he might switch out here. Because that'll probably save his Charizard, and that could help him out here. So, um... This is all predicting right here. I mean, I could easily just go for another Spikes. But that would give the opportunity for his, um... What's it called? I'm gonna assume the switch out. Alright, I got it right. I got it right, which is great. Okay, and now that I got this part right, I'm going to assume it's going to use it, but we are going to use a brick break and hope we hopefully we kill it. Oh, we didn't kill it. We didn't kill it. Oh man, I, I really thought we could have done it. I thought we could have. Well, looks like we were gonna, we're, we lost this battle. Unfortunately, I was really kind of hoping it would work out with the um, pincer, but I did make a few sp mistakes, such as Infernape, where I, instead of Infernape, I should have brought in Crawdon. But that's okay, so we're just going to use Gyro Ball. This, okay, so he's going to use that Gyro Ball. Okay, so this, this battle is basically over. We don't really have a chance for for any of that here. And that that's okay. That's okay. Hopefully, maybe we can get a crit. No crit. Okay, that's cool. All right, so this battle should be left off here. So that's about it. So, yeah, that guy had a good game. Um, Definitely just something to kind of get used to. And that's perfectly okay with me. So I hope you guys enjoyed the battle. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.